Hi guys! So, in today's video, I want to tell you to calm down! Calm down! Oh my god! <laughs> Why are you still panicking? <laughs> okay, <laughs> I'm here today to give you a hug and just be that person that tells you don't worry, everything's gonna be okay, just calm down. I just want to remind you to be an example. Now when everybody else is panicking, it's the time for you to be the change you want to see in the world, <laughs> right? So be calm, then everybody else will look at you and be like, oh wow, I want to be like that person. Because when you have a calm mind, then you can make good decisions. If you're panicking, you're going to make a lot of bad decisions. So I understand that it's hard, um, especially when things seem out of your control. And for us, as human beings, we love to be in control of things. But I think this is a perfect time to practice how to let go sometimes, okay? Just... just Practice having faith that the universe or God, whatever you believe in, is protecting you. And maybe pay attention to things that maybe you weren't paying attention to before. Spending more time with your pets, talking to your friends. Use this negative situation and turn it into a positive. I remember when I went through a hard time like two or three years ago. And one of the things that made me feel in control is painting. I get to choose the colors that I want to paint. I get to draw what I want. Made me feel more empowered. So I would just encourage you that we all start doing things that make us feel more empowered. Sometimes simple things can make you feel empowered. I think this is a good time for us to learn how to be patient, um, appreciate what we have, appreciate that we are in good health right now, appreciate that we have a home that we can stay in you know we have an, a nice bed that we can just curl up inside <laughs> i went to the store a couple of days ago and a lot of people were panicking and it made me feel a little bit scared too you know but i think even though you can't control how other people are behaving you can decide how you want to react to that, you know? You have the power to decide how you want to react. So for me, I was like, okay, I am not going to panic. I'm going to stay calm and, you know, just take what I need and that's it. I don't need to take more than what I need. So another thing that I think would be good for us to do at this time visualizing take this time to visualize how you want your future to be make a list or you know make plans for what you want to do when this is all over maybe now it's time to reflect uh, what do i want to change what do i want to do differently for me i like to do some meditation and imagine you know the life that i want to have and it makes me feel really good after and while I'm meditating, sometimes I get these ideas or I see these images and I realize that, oh, I actually would love to have that in my future. And just like a minute ago, I had no idea that I wanted to have this in my future, but meditating, it really helps, at least for me. Another way is to journal. Every day I will write how I'm feeling and it really helps me to just put all of my thoughts out on paper and for the next day I can look back at it it's like me reflecting you know and it and it really makes me pay attention to what is important what made me happy today and I write what made me sad today what made me angry today and then I can see what are the things that make me angry and then I can focus more on the things that make me happy and the last point that I want to make today choose love over fear choose calm over panic choose faith over desperation 
Pay attention to how you are reacting to this. Are you taking actions based on fear, panic, or desperation? Then you might have to adjust your mindset. Focus on what you have instead of what you don't have. And that's it, you guys. Stay home, stay safe, stay calm, and like (laughs) and subscribe. Don't forget the bell button. And I have a Patreon account. If you'd like to support me, the link is in the description. Thank you so much. Bye. There's no one.